Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Cool Eagle back here with another video. Just wanted to talk to you guys because I'm finally over the Bucks losing game seven to the Celtics. That's why I haven't been posting lately. Uh, not that I don't have anything to talk about because we do have plenty to talk about. Not only with these uh, conference finals in the East and the West, which we will get into, but also what is going on with the Philadelphia Eagles? Is Howie Roseman the best general manager in football? I have to believe so because of the moves that he's made. Like, he he got A.J. Brown, who was in a contract dispute with Tennessee. Like, we got him, okay? We drafted two defensive players from Georgia who had just beat number one Alabama, okay? Oh. And then we somehow managed to get Bradbury. Are we putting all our chips in the middle of the table? Is this what we're doing this year? Are we pushing for the Super Bowl this year? Are these the expectations? What are y'all's expectations? Because my expectations is that a deep playoff run, you know, lose. Well, like not lose, but like get to the divisional round and play a very tight game up to the end, right? But it seems like High Roseman has bigger dreams. And you know what? I'm going to ride along with it. I think that we can make a deep playoff run. We can win the division, even though I did say the division could come down between us and the commanders just because of the arsenal and what they've been doing compared to the other divisional rivals the giants eh, okay whatever but the cowboys they're not going to be a threat this year they're not going to be a threat this year I'm, I'm i'm personally not worried about the cowboys i am comfortable going to a cowboys game this year like just to watch them lose to us I am comfortable with that. Very comfortable with that. And another thing. And another thing. Um, these NBA Finals, bro. Like, I have become so impressed with Luka Doncic. Like, I bought me and my girlfriend both some Luka Doncic jerseys. And, um, and it's just so... I wouldn't say bad timing, but it is a little bit apropos. It, it is a little bit ironic that the Mavs are down 3-1. Now, I'm not saying that being down 3-1 isn't necessarily a bad thing. We've seen teams come back, especially on the Golden State Warriors, down 3-1. Now, am I saying that Luka Doncic is just as good as LeBron James? Of course not. We obviously need to see more from Luka Doncic. But it is very good to see that the Mavs are in the finals. You know, I have been, I've been so impressed by Luka Doncic. Now, obviously, there, there are some things that he can work on, you know, especially on the defensive side of the ball. But, you know, superstars, like nowadays, usually don't play defense anyway. So, because they're tasked with carrying an entire offense, which you know, as an athlete, it's not easy at all. But the media is probably, well, not just the media, but the media and the NBA at large probably want to see Golden State go to the finals one more time, possibly win it, which is cool, whatever. But then we go to the East East between the Heat and the Celtics. I personally think that series can go to seven. But you have to worry about Miami and their consistency on the offensive side of the ball. They don't have real scores like that on the Miami offense. Jimmy Butler, yeah, he can get you 40, but he can also get you 14. Not very consistent uh, compared as to Boston, who has two of the league's premier scorers. And then you got role players who are, who are manning the hatch on defense, like we've seen the Bucks, which again, I'm over.
over now. I, it, it no longer bothers me. It no longer haunts me at night. And I'm fine. But, of course, as y'all know, I picked Miami out of the Eastern Conference. Um, but, again, TBD, right? Because Boston is better than I thought they were. Boston is better than I thought. Actually, Boston is better than uh, than a lot of what we all thought of Boston. You know, I thought that they were just going to go out and you know to the Bucks and six, but lo and behold, they crashed and clawed and they they took down the champs, and now they're the favorite to win. And this is no disrespect to the Miami Heat, who have been to the finals about a couple times in the past few years. This is no like this is no disrespect to them, but when you look at the overall roster of Boston and what they bring to the court on both sides of the ball, it's like how can you not as a better? But again, like we'll see these finals are some of the best that we've seen in a while. Um, I'm hoping the Mavericks can at least make it competitive in Game Five um, to at least say they. To at least say they got eliminated in game six rather than a game five. You know, I would like to see the Mavericks pull off a game five victory just so we can extend the series and not make my jersey purchase seem futile. Right? But uh, tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. The Philadelphia Eagles, man, I think that we have potential to be great, not only in our division but in the conference at large. Because again, you only need seven teams to make the playoffs out of every conference. Are we a top seven team? We will discuss more of that in the next video. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think in the comments. Love you all. Uh, I'll be back soon. Take it easy, stay cool.